Hey everyone, welcome back to Caleb the Video Maker 2. This video we are going to be continuing off of the last video. So in the last video we created this table animals. And you can see here one of the columns here is species. Now this column is going to give us some problems. And the reason that is is because all we are is storing the species as plain text within a varchar column. That means if we have, hmm, I don't know, 2 million animals sign up for this app we're working on? <laughs> well, in that situation, we might have the same value for the species 30,000 times. So you can see that the data becomes very redundant. Redundancy is one of the leading causes of anomalies. So we want to get rid of all redundancy. And the way we need to do that is actually turn the species column that's varchar into a foreign key referencing a species in another table. So how do we do that? Well, we actually have to have that other table created. Now when you reference a pro now when you reference a now when you reference a column from another table, you have to label it as foreign key. Sorry guys, my dog keeps sneezing every time I try to talk. Now when you reference a column from another table, the column that is being referenced is known as the parent. The column that's referencing it is known as the child. Now when you create these tables, you always need to create the parent table first. So in this situation, the species is going to reference another table. So this would be the child. We need to create that parent. So I'm going to put it up here. We will just say create table and then we'll say species. And the columns we are going to put in here are the ID. That's going to be an int. Primary key identity. The next thing we're going to add is the species. And this is going to be essentially the same value that we would have stored here. So we can even copy that data type varchar 50. And we are going to make this not null and also unique. It's going to be unique because each species needs to only be in this table one time. And then we can have unlimited references to that individual species. Additionally, I'm going to make a column for now called friendly name. And essentially that's going to be a friendly name of the species. So if you have you know, a family genus species kind of thing. <laughs> it's not exactly the most easy thing to read. So this could be something simple like bunny. Now this could actually introduce some redundant data here because, you know, there could be 20,000 species of, <laughs> maybe not 20,000, I don't know. There could be 20,000 species of bunnies and the friendly name is bunny for all of them. So the solution to this would be to make some kind of animal categories table and then we could reference that with the foreign key here. But for now, the amount of redundancy is nothing compared to having this species column down here. So I'm not going to worry about it right now. So what we need to do is give it a data type and we'll just say varchar50. And we are going to make this one not null, but we're not gonna make it unique because we just said we will have redundant data in here. Multiple species could all have the same friendly name. So overall, this looks pretty good for the species table. Um, I'm getting an error here, I think probably. Yeah, so I was dorking around with this at one point, so. <laughs> Let's just add this drop table if exists. Now, what about this table? We actually need to replace this column with a reference. So the very first thing when you're creating a foreign key, you need to make sure that the data types match exactly. So what are we going to be referencing? Are we going to be referencing the species column of the species table? Or are we going to be referencing the ID column of the species table? Well, you could do either one because this is labeled unique, but in general, it's best to reference the ID. So that means we are going to change this to species ID, and then the data type needs to match exactly. So this needs to be an int. Now we created the column, but how do we tell it to reference this column over here? Well, we just add a couple words right here. It's real simple. References. <laughs> it's one of the hardest words to type. And then you say species, and then in parentheses, you say the column ID. So everything should be good. We just have to make sure to switch this to the right database, of course. <laughs> All right, let's run this and make sure everything works. Boom, there you go. That is how you create a foreign key in SQL Server. Thanks guys, hopefully that was helpful. If you liked this video, be sure to click like and subscribe to this channel. And I will see you in the next video.